Welcome back. The Nigerian Army has built a 200 capacity detention center at the Giwa Barracks, Medugri, the Bronu State Capital, to house suspected Boko Haram insurgents who are being profiled either for prosecution or reintegration. The two wing facility was constructed by the Nigerian Army's 47th Engineer Brigade in line with global best practices. The theater commander, Operation Lafia Dole, Major General Rogers Nicholas, who commissioned the center, said the detainees will soon be moved from their present location to a new facility. Facility is a holding center for our detainees. Uh, from here, they have been processed, and then um, some are moved from here to Operation Safe Corridor. Others are moved from here to various areas where uh, they are facing court charges, and um, from there, uh, they will be handled according to the judiciary program. But here, we are holding them. We we'll do profiling here. We we'll do interrogation here, intention here. Period to this time, the where we are keeping them. To some of us, the chief army staff, and some of us, uh, it is not up to the standard of where we should keep. So what the chief army staff has done is to upgrade the standard to international best standard. And that's what we are seeing today, what you've seen today, a facility that could equal any facility anywhere in the world. From Ronu, let's head south to River State, where the Department of State Services has rescued a 10-month-old baby Identity kidnapped from her mother by a neighbor in the guise of trying to play with her. According to the DSS, the baby, who was abducted in December 2017 in Port Harcourt, the River State capital, was traced to a buyer in Ogoja, Cross River State, who bought her for 850,000 naira and claimed she did not know she was stolen. Members of the syndicate suspected to be involved in the sale of the baby are in police custody. But the mother, Marie told you. 8 a.m. So I, as we just came out from the house, my neighbor looked at his door and my own door. He came out and called my baby. I, I don't know because that is what he used to call. I don't know every week. He stretched out his hands and carried her. So he carried her and sit on the chair for some minutes, playing with her. So later he said he wanted to buy a recharge card. So that we dash him 200 now, that is having 500. We want to give him, give her 200 now. So let him buy a recharge card at the front of our house there. So he carried her now to buy the recharge card. That is when we saw him last with my baby. From security matters to other issues now, officials of Rekid Benkiza, makers of Mortine insecticide, are pledging more commitment to reduce malaria in the country. The management says the intervention will be in the form of awareness campaigns and investment for a malaria-free country. This was mentioned at an event to mark the World Malaria Day that took place in the nation's capital, Abuja. It's an event to reassess government interventions in malaria. A report by the World Health Organization in 2017 shows that there were 216 million cases of malaria in 2016. It's an event to reassess government interventions in malaria. A report by the World Health Organization in 2017 shows that there were 216 million cases of malaria in 2016, up from 211 million cases in 2015. This increase is what experts at this meeting are looking at reducing through increased financial commitments from government and donor agencies. We are working hard with partners and other organizations to improve the quality of care and increase access to anti-malaria commodities, particularly among poor people. We are also working towards securing additional funding to close the existing commodity gap and move Nigeria towards elimination. The Federal Ministry of Health, in collaboration with National Population Commission, Bureau of Statistics, Development Partners, and ICF, conducted a malaria indicator survey to determine the status of malaria parameters. Findings show that prevalence of malaria reduced from 42% in 2010 to 27% in 2015. 
There were words of support from health officials, but maker of Mortin, Rakit Benkisa, is lending its hand of support to reduce malaria prevalence in the country. Last year, the government to 16 cities to do free malaria testing campaign. So this year, Rakit Benkisa wants to stretch it to 40. In about 3,000 medical health centers, Rakit Benkisa partners with the government in terms of sensitizing right awareness in preventing malaria. For the next two years, government officials and development partners will be looking at how to reduce malaria cases and deaths in the country by over half through sustained sensitization and financial interventions. To train and develop the mine, that's the dream of the founder of Elizabeth University in Ondo State, southwest Nigeria. And in line with this ideology, the institution recently held its second convocation where students were awarded degrees in various faculties of learning. Clad in academic gowns, this procession of graduating students are received with a standing ovation. They are students who have fulfilled the academic and character requirements of Elizabeth University, Ilaramuki, Undo State. Accompanying them are members of the executive leadership as well as the board of trustees. On the other side of the hall are traditional rulers, notable personalities and family members of the graduating students who are here to celebrate the second convocation of the institution. The Ondo State Governor, Ruti Miyakiri Dulu, who is represented by the Secretary to the State Government, makes a crucial call for a turnaround in the nation's education sector. Brothers, guardians and all other members of any society must be ready to join the government in the task of educating the youth. And there's a challenge from the Vice Chancellor of the University to the society to build the values of young leaders. Not too young to run with the mere slogan, wishful thinking, we will fail as a, as a society to reposition the Nigerian youth for leadership and development. The students on their part are grateful for an impactful time at the school. The founder of the university, Chief Michael Adioju, an accomplished businessman, summarizes the school's mission. We are training our students to be able to achieve their dreams, regardless of the type of degree they take out of here. A mission which is demonstrated here with a donation of 5 million naira to help fund this graduate's dream. Over 100 students graduated from three faculties and nine departments at the university for the 2016-2017 academic session. Nigeria gets set to host a major meeting in the business circles, and Anne has the, the details on business news. Hello, Anne. Hello, Melinda. And yes, the Nigerian Stock Exchange has now emerged the preferred host of the 22nd Annual Conference of the African Securities Exchanges Association. The 23-member Exchanges Forum will hold in Lagos between November the 25th through to the 27th. Themed Champions on the Rise, Africa's Ascension to a More Sustainable Future. The 2018 edition promises a robust agenda with over 1,000 delegates in attendance. The association's flagship event is Africa's foremost capital market summit, and Nigeria won a similar hosting right for the 2009 edition, which was held in the nation's capital, Abuja. The Nigerian equities market closed the week on a bright note, climbing 115 basis points on Friday, that's yesterday, to notch a 0, 105 basis points week-on-week -week gain. The all share index settled higher at the 41,000 psychological line. Forte oil advanced the most in contrast 
to Unity Bank's 21.26% decline. The Industrial Goods Index shed the highest value by 4.7%, while the consumer goods sector ticked 6.30%. But in all, over 1.8 billion units of shares were traded this week for a total value of 24 billion naira. And let's go to the money market where overnight lending rate eased to 3.42% this week, representing a 33 basis points week-on-week -week contraction against last week's close of 3.7%. Inflows from matured OMO bills and monthly fact disbursement surpassed outflows from foreign exchange sales. But let's see what investors are expecting next week. They hope that a total of 377 billion Nara from maturing OMO and Treasury bills will outweigh outflows with a likely positive impact on the lending rate next week. And U.S.-based writing firm Clements Worldwide in its global index for the year 2018 has found that business interruption loss is one of the top five risks to investments in Africa. The underwriter at a meeting with its investors also identified professional liability and natural disasters as two top risks in the 2018 reading. Underestimate business interruption loss, and so it's interesting that at point for Africa it was one of your top five losses. Um, and a business interruption loss can really be anything that keeps your organization from operating during a period of time, which will usually result in either lost revenue if you're a commercial organization, um, or kind of lost donations if you're an NGO. And so you know, and it could be a result of denial of access because of political violence. It could be a natural disaster keeps you from opening. You know, it could be political legislation closes down a type of business. But, you know, that's, while it's not trending in the risk index, for Africa it was trending and our, you know, head of underwriting says it should be trending. The perception is definitely different, but the nature of risk is, uh, is also changing. I mean, you're seeing changes in legislation. You're seeing changes in what an organization's responsibilities are to their employees. And so those are types of things that are um, really important to look at when you're evolving your corporate, you know, responsibility and policies. And that's the last edition of Business News for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Anne Wawadu. It's back to you, Melinda. Many thanks, Anne. Still ahead on the news at 10, Rafa Nadal becomes fourth player in ATP World History since 1973 to record 400 clay court match wins after reaching the Barcelona Open final. That's on Sports Stay with us.